me and James John, welcome to a video that's got very little to do with engineering, it's all about cooking. I want to cook one of my favourites, I've actually done a video on cooking this before, and I really fancy some fish and chips, so once again, I'm going to cook haddock and chips and beer butter. I'm going to cook them in dripping, the old fashioned way, not the most healthy way, but it's the way I'm going to cook them, and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to trying them out. Right, that's enough talking, we'll get on, I'll go through the, the process of how I basically cook my haddock and how I make the butter. Right, the first thing is the fish, this is a nice bit of haddock. It's got no smell, it smells a little bit like the sea. If it smells like fish, it's not right. Fresh fish has got no smell. Right, we're going to put a little bit of salt on it. That actually has a skin removed, so we can leave the skin on. Then we're going to put this away back in the fridge, just so it firms up a little bit. Then we'll prepare the chips and prepare the butter, because that goes into the fridge where it's nice and cool. Right, next thing is the chips. You must use mollusk, paper, potatoes, nothing else. These are, the, these are the ones to use. You can leave the skin on, but personally I like to, I like to peel them. Just go that little black bit on the end. Basically, I like my chips to be half inch square. Or 13 mil square, if you're not way really inclined. So what I'll do, I cut a flat edge to start with. It's like millions of them you start off with a flat edge. So half inch, I can, I can roughly guess half inch that way. And just check. 4, 8, 9, 50, 9 and a half, half inch. Right, then you cut them the other way. Just way just to put a half inch slip gauge on, and then you know for a fact you're going to be pretty near the half inch chip. Once you've got some marked out, you can kind of use those as a, as a template. Just make sure I'm not creeping away and going over size on you. Which often happens. The length doesn't matter, these are roughly three inches long, just depends on how big the actual potato is. Right, so that's the chips all cut. Next thing you just go into a bowl of cold water, get some of the starch out of them. And I'll run them under the tap in the sink before I actually come to use them. But they're allowed to soak in there, like I say, just to remove some of the starch. The you know, water starts to go cloudy, that's the starch coming out. In fact, that's probably the thing that makes or breaks fish and chips, apart from the quality of the fish. So using some plain flour, a cupful. So we've got a cup full of flour, we're going to put it through a sieve, it's a bit like cleaning the sand up when you're casting yours of it. All this does is it puts plenty of air in and aerates the, the flour. Next, once some baking powder. One teaspoonful of baking powder. And we'll need some salt. This is all mixed together and then into this we'll put the beer. You can use any beer you want, this is called proper job, it is nice beer, nice strong beer, double boost bottle opener, we'll slowly add the beer and whisk this up to a consistency of probably Double cream, I would think, like a, like a thick gloss paint. It 
works out about a couple of yellow, a couple of flour, that's the sort of ratio you want. That's a nice, nice coat of butter. Ideally you put this back in the fridge and let it stand for a while. The cooler the butter, the more crispy it'll be when you cook it and fry it. Okay, so we'll put that in the fridge and let that stand. Okay, the chips have been rinsed under the tap until the water runs nice and clean and clear, which takes a lot of the starch out of them. They now need drying off. Just pat them dry on the kitchen roll. We're going to cook these at least twice, maybe even three times, depending on what they look like. They're all fairly uniform in size. There's a hard rogue one there, but basically they're all half inch square. Unfortunately, I haven't got a deep fat fryer in dead wood along the chip pan in the house, which is at work, so it doesn't matter, but I'm using a wok. That's dripping, beef dripping, it's in the wok, uh, which basically just melted down and starting to cook the temperature now. Right, that's about ready, I would think it's sort of. It smells hot. Yeah, that's hot enough. You want to cook them slowly at first. The chips have had three or four minutes now. Once they start to float, that means they're getting they have to be cooked. I want to get these a nice light brown colour, take them out, cook the fish and then reheat the chips, that's the secret. Sometimes you take twice cooked, sometimes three times cooked chips. But with the dripping you get a lovely taste and we'll have a beautiful colour. Right, the fish needs to be lightly coated in flour, you have the batter stick. Also have to dry the fish up. Beautiful, solid feel about this. Right, these chips are starting to float now. They've got a nice brown colour, so we'll take them out. That's our first stage of our cooking done. We'll let these rest and we'll cook the fish, and then, like I said, put them back in just to finish them off. Right now for the fish. Put them in the batter, make sure they're all nicely coated. Any excess drips off. And you put it in the hot fat and let it go in slowly away from you. So well coated with butter once again. Nice and gentle. This will take probably 70 minutes, 78 minutes to cook. Just going to turn the temperature down a little bit. Turn it carefully. Flip them over. Okay, take the fish out now, let it drain.
Right, it's back in with the chips just to finish them off. A secondary cooking, so to speak. Plenty of heat on to get these browned off nice and they're already cooked. You just want to get that nice colour into them. Right, take them out now, let them drain. I've got a bit of cleaning up to do before she gets back from work. Right, that's sufficient chips. Served up. I'll just break one open and see what we've got inside. Beautiful white flaky fish. Right now for the good bit, we might as well finish off the beer. I'm shame to waste it. Plenty of salt and vinegar. I mean, that is absolutely unbelievable. That is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely amazing fish. All I remember to see you now is Bon Appetit Bonnie Lad. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, click subscribe. See you next time.